So I think it's safe to say that we've all experienced stuttery playback at some point when editing a video inside Premiere Pro. Well, Proxy Media is a really quick and simple way to fix this and it's really easy to set up. Hi guys and welcome back to Editor's Life. Today we're going to be looking at how to create and use proxy video files. Proxy files are basically smaller, lower quality videos that are otherwise identical to your original media. And this basically means your computer has to work a lot less when editing, which increases your playback speed, which makes your edits better and in general makes life easier. Other ways to improve playback that you might have tried already is to go to your playback settings and toggle down to either half or quarter res. Another option is to go to Premiere Pro, Preferences, Memory and allocate more RAM to Premiere Pro because other apps might be draining some of the resources that you're getting from your computer. But proxy files are that easy to set up that you might as well just use them. So this file is an 8K video from RED. They've got a section on the website where you can download sample footage from a range of cameras, different resolutions and you can import them into your edits just to kind of trial and, uh, and experiment with. And as you'll see, if I press play on this video, it might start to play at first, but will slowly start to stutter and then maybe stop completely. This is because my machine, even though this has only got a simple color grade on, my machine just isn't capable of playing 8K red files. So what you want to do is create a proxy version of this video. To do this, you want to right click on the video, come down to proxy, create proxies, and in this box, you're going to have two options. You're going to have either H.264 or QuickTime. I tend to do H.264 and set it at a medium resolution. This gives me a good balance between the file size being quite small still, yet the quality is good enough for me to edit with. Once you hit OK, it's going to bring up Encoder and it's going to instantly start encoding that video file. By default, you can select a different location, but currently the default is to put these files in a folder next to your original media so it keeps everything in one place. And when the file's done converting, you can delete this, come back into Premiere. Inside Premiere, you're not going to find any extra files. It's not going to stick the proxies in there as well. All you're going to see is the source file here. The only difference you'll see is that the videos that have proxies now have a proxy indicator on them. White means that it's still using the original media. If you press this button here, you'll see that it goes blue and that's to indicate that the proxy is now being used. So if I turn this off a second, you'll see the playback. It still stutters, it's still using the original media. The minute that you hit the proxy indicator and press play, the file plays perfectly because it's using that lower resolution video and the computer can handle that file. If you don't see this proxy indicator option, click the plus icon here and in this menu, simply drag this proxy toggle into this box here. And just for reference, if I open up the folder that's got the files, you're gonna see the original red file that I downloaded and it's 2.3 gig. When we created the proxies, it created a folder called proxies and put it in there. And you'll see that's 18.2 megabytes. So it's a lot less for your computer processor to work through, which is why you get a lot better playback. So when it comes to rendering your final video, the software will use your original media regardless of whether you've got proxies turned on or off, so you're always going to get the best quality video in the end. Right, so as boring as all of this is, uh, hopefully some of you found it useful. Uh, if it has been helpful for you in your own projects, uh, you could help me out by leaving a like on this video. If you want a lot more fun content like this, um, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Cheers.